Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have Warzone's 2015, Civil Unrest Reborn. When Warzone's was originally released back in 2012, it was one of the most popular mods on the Nexus. Slowly development came to a halt, and because it was made with older tools, the bugs kept piling on top of each other until it eventually became incompatible with pretty much everything. It even had major issues when you used it alone. But now, using a completely new team of modders, they've been able to refine, repair and recreate this once great mod. Using the latest modding tools they've expanded on or fixed several of the key features. For anyone that's unfamiliar with the mod, Warzone's aim is to add epic battles and skirmishes that happen randomly throughout Skyrim. So while exploring you should randomly stumble upon more NPCs, which makes the game feel more alive. In total there's over 2000 new NPCs, spanning across over 100 dynamic Warzone areas, so there's a huge amount of variety. The dynamic side of things means you'll never run into the same Warzone twice. You might see the same factions going against each other, but the battle will always be different. Sometimes it'll just be a few soldiers on patrol that happen to bump into each other. But then other times it'll be full on battles with commanders, captains and soldiers all battling out in the wilds of Skyrim. On top of that, how the war zones are created depends on the current state of the civil war, as well as which side you chose to fight for. So during the civil war quest you'll notice new groups that ambush you and your allies, whether it be on the road or at one of the held camps. It's not just always Imperials versus Stormcloaks either. Other factions will get involved in battles too, whether it's bandits, the Forsworn, mages or even the undead. And what's great is that these battles will only happen in accordance with the lore and geography. One of the biggest changes comes with the introduction of the Warzone's armoury. This is where the mod adds hundreds of weapons and armour to the new battling NBCs, as well as giving you the ability to craft them. Most of the new gear belongs to either the Stormcloaks or the Imperials, and the crafting recipes remain with those factions. That means you'll only be able to craft the gear of the faction you joined. The weapons are a little more open, and most are available for all to use. The most important thing about the armoury is that it's fully compatible with all other mods. It also scales as it would in the vanilla game, so you won't see high level gear when you're a low level. Another important feature is the introduction of a proper options menu using an MCM. Inside you'll be able to edit several of the core features, including the spawn point, the creatures and whether each type of battle is active. So if you only want battles involving the civil war active, but want other random encounters off, then you can easily do that. You can even go into each individual location and turn them on or off. And finally, despite the new armoury and options menu being important, probably the most vital thing is how the mod runs with the new bug fixes and improvements to stability. From our testing over a few hours we found it to run surprisingly well. It's a lot of fun to just sit back and watch the carnage unfold before you, or jump in at any time and turn the battle around for a friendly faction. In terms of overall compatibility it'll now work with all DLCs and most other mods. In fact there's only one mod listed as incompatible and that's Sky Standalone Followers. Be sure to check the resource website for a full list of mods as well as a handy FAQ section too. So if you missed out on the functional version of Warzones and you've always wanted to try it out then we definitely recommend you give it a go. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.